Hello, good people. I welcome you once again to this very interesting episode. I remain your friend, Fidel De Castro. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. If you are joining my channel for the very first time, please do like and share this video and don't forget to drop your opinion. And do please follow my channel for more interesting content. Afeni Ferrer has finally reaffirmed their commitment to voting His Excellency Gregory Peter will be the presidential flag bearer of the Labour Party. This has been made known by their chairperson or their spokesperson or by their leader, whichever way you want to describe it, Pa Adebanjo. The man has explained in this video that he's an old man. And because of that, the onus is on him to say the truth and stand by the truth, that he's not going back, that he's so happy, he expressed his satisfaction and happiness over the uh, last two days when Abbasanjo also, in his open letter, endorsed P2B. Let's look at the video first of all. And I want you to know that most of the people who are not supporting P2B, you know, directly or indirectly, does not mean so well for Nigeria because in terms of competence, Obi stands out from the crowd. In terms of integrity, in terms of antecedent, Obi has continued to stand up among all other competitors or all other runners. So let's look at the video first of all and go nowhere for we shall come back to do justice to it. God bless you. In the world. But things are not moving on well with us. And we're not the cause. So I thought today we have about three, four, five, eighteen candidates moving around. As I introduced to you earlier, mm -hmm. I am the leader of the Southern and Middle Belt Elder Forum, which is made up of a Ferry of Southwest, South South, that is the Pan Niger Delta. Ohaneze, that's uh, the input stock, the input picking Nigerians, middle belt, that is the buffer between the south and the north. All the states occupy that area, the middle of Nigeria, are called middle belt. They are with us. They believe that Nigeria belongs to all of us. And that's what we believe in. So we are to, whatever we are doing today, we are always together. We're talking about Plateau, we're talking about uh, Benway, we're talking about Quara, we're talking about Niger, and, and so on. So we are together. It's not a question of the tribe. It's not a question of religion. No. So, uh, my purpose of calling this press conference, therefore, is for my choice to make known to all Nigerians. And sitting by me here is uh, Julius. When I was uh, 96, if you count one more year to your age, until it pleases the Almighty God to take me away. I have already drafted my my speech my third address and I would like to call upon my president we want Peter B to be the president 
of Nigeria come 2023. Yes. And I want to make it very clear that the people who are suffering in this country today are the youth, the young school children. They have no place to go to. They move around. I think they belong to a special class. These children should come out, go to your homes, go to your villages. There you belong to. Go and educate your people. Go and tell them what to do before coming to the township. People now want to kick you away, uh, don't want you to go anywhere. They want to use you. Don't allow anybody to bribe you. Be, be, uh, you want a transparent president. A president who is strong. A president who is educated. A president who is humble. A president who has every leadership quality that we want. We don't want a president we have to beg to sit, to sit down, to find out whether he will fall, or whether he can stand or he can fall, he will fall. We want a president which will not be that in his age. A president should be selling his age from time to time. We, want, we don't want a president who will be swelling uh, uh, year to year how old he is, how young he is. Please, I do not want this press conference to take a lot from me. But you, the pressman, you have a way of being distant. You may be meeting other people, what they say about MTOB, Peter B. That's what I want you to ask me. Do you have any doubt about him? Please, carry on. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Are you <laughs> <laughs> it's not answer, it's yes. <laughs> Leave that to God, my son. Yeah, not Nothing is impossible with God. You'll be, you'll be surprised tomorrow that Obi is now the president of Nigeria. Yes, any other one? Yes. Daddy, with what? With uh, Let me make one point. And that is, the President General of Anese, Ambassador Biozo, passed on last Friday. And that was the time I was to make my speech. And being a fellow man, I thought it would be unwise to do it. And that's why it has been postponed. Otherwise, I could have made my own before any other person. Because I don't want anybody to go with the impression that because she said so, that's why she clerk wanted to do, to do that. I have been a politician. And I do not regard myself as uh, somebody who should be telling us what to do and what not what to do. Perhaps Yesterday, or two days ago, or yesterday, you've been told that a former president of this country has adopted the candidature of a B. But last week, Friday also, the same person went to Enugu and in, in order to commiserate with the Igbos, about the death of their most elderly man. He said the candidate of Ohanese, no, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, the, the candidate of Feneferi picked by, chosen by the Feneferis, by their leader, Ayo Adebajo, and their executive, and their members. is the one he supported. But two days ago or yesterday, he now said that it is Obi. 
So I've made up my mind all along. That's why I told you that we couldn't make it because of the passing on of the President General of Ohanese. Any other uh, 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 You have enough. We have some. Are you sure? Very, very sure. Don't say I gag you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, David. May God bless. May God bless this this man. He's an old man, and he chose to stand by the truth. It is my prayer that God will give you more life, not just standing by the truth, but He also wants a fresh Nigeria, not for Himself, but for His children and for His children' children. And that is the same gospel we are preaching. We need a new Nigeria, a Nigeria that will accommodate all of us, a Nigeria that can unite both the East, the West, North, and the South. A Nigeria that does not discriminate anybody. A Nigeria where you can actively participate in politics without restriction. A Nigeria where you can walk in the street of Lagos, in the street of Kano, in the street of Anambra State without being harassed by anybody. That is a Nigeria we desire. We need a president who can stand up to his responsibility and speak to Nigeria head on. That is a new Nigeria that we desire. I hope that is the Nigeria you desire too. God bless you. See you again in the next episode. Bye for now.